With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, students. Our question is: A block is applied to forces of magnitude five newton each. When one force is acting towards east and other one is acting along sixty degree north of east, the resultant of two forces in newton of magnitude. So simply in this question, we have to find the resultant of two forces when a block is apl applied to forces of magnitude five newton each, where one force is acting towards east and other one is acting along sixty degree north of east. So let me draw. Let's say this is a block. Let me mention the mention the direction. East, west, north, south. Now, according to question, five newton of force acting in each direction. So, let me draw here. Five newton acting in each direction. Then, after five newton again acting in sixty degree north of east. It is also five newton, sixty degree north of h. Now we have to find the resultant of these two forces. So for finding that, let me say this one is f one vector, and this one is f two vector, and angle between. Angle between f one vector and f two vector is sixty degree. Now, when we talk about the magnitude of the resultant of these two forces, so it can be written as magnitude of resultant force is equal to under root mod of f one vector whole square. Mod of f one vector whole square plus mod of f two vector whole square plus two mod of f one vector into mod of f two vector into cos theta, where theta is angle between f one vector and f two vector. Now we have all values. Mod of f one vector is five newton. Mod of f two vector is also five newton, and angle between these two vectors is sixty degree. So by putting all values, we get magnitude of resultant vector is equal to under root five whole square plus five whole square plus two into five into five and cos sixty is equal to one by two. Then two and two simply cancel out. Then finally we have under root. Twenty five plus twenty five plus twenty five. So finally, we have magnitude of resultant vector is under root seventy five. So this is the magnitude of resultant of two forces, which is under root seventy five newton. So this is our answer. Thank you for class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.